What is happening? BC Spirit, Spirit of Day number 132. Today I'm going to do a weird little liqueur available here in BC. Um, it's the Okanagan Spirit Sea Buckthorn. Now I did this back in June for the cheese board pairings, but I thought I'd revisit it because it's one of my favorite little liqueurs out of the Okanagan, out of uh, BC actually, because no one else does a Sea Buckthorn liqueur. I don't think Sea Buckthorn liqueur is a big thing anywhere else in the world. Maybe Scandinavia. Maybe. Maybe Scandinavia. But Sea buckthorn liqueur is a local indigenous berry that's like this little thorny bush that's very gooseberry sort of style. This is a very interesting liqueur. You're gonna, this is gonna take you a little bit of time to get used to because it is very forward on the nose. Um, fresh honeycomb, like pulling the thing out, like just scraping down runny honey, honeycomb, that sort of like super waxy sort of feel to it. And then you gain a little stone fruit, and then the big one is blue cheese on the nose, like funky blue cheese on the nose. Um, if you don't love blue cheese, this is going to be a love hate one for you. If you do like blue cheese, you're going to go, oh yeah, this is I need this. This chilled with a cheese board is bang on money. On the palate, you still get that rich honeycomb. You get a little funky blue cheese. You gain stone fruit. Quince paste is another one that comes up. Super weird and obscure, very, very fun. But I think it's a liqueur that not enough people use um, in their day-to-day, -day, especially cocktail bartenders. This is a really unique um, liqueur in a big way. I think more people need to use it because we don't get it. No one makes a sea buckthorn liqueur. So, sea buckthorn liqueur from Okanagan Spirits. It's a short video, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.